first 20 minutes are complete. Gideon to the alley, gets low, step through, up, and good! Gideon George! The second half is about to begin. Rudy right side, jumps into the paint, little late footer, short, offensive rebound again, and score by Rudy! This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. 75 times in the Mark Pope era, BYU has led or been tied at halftime. BYU is 66 and 9 in those 75 games. Most of those have been with the lead, mind you. BYU's only been tied twice previously at halftime under Mark, and BYU's won both of those games. So, Dukes are tied 26 26. Time to pull away from Portland. Mark Hay. This is an 8 and 8 team minus their two leading scores. It's still a game BYU should win. They got to contain Sholin. Get a little more punch out of Robinson, Williams, and Waterman. They combined for three points in that first half. We'll see how it goes here. Those three came from Dallin Hall right before the halftime horn from three. Beautiful pass from Hall to Foose. And Foose scores with a foul and an and one opportunity to open half number two. Beautifully done. The pick and roll. Foose rolls low, takes the pass from Hall, and Hall gets him in great position. Foose squeezes it up and scores it with the foul. That's a great two-man game. And Foose, when he got it, he went up quickly, strong with the ball. He, he didn't pause and wait. And that's better, more decisive move from Foose. Foul on Applewhite. Foose to the line. Breeze 4 for 5 tonight. Makes. That's 23 of his last 24 at the free throw line. Had a string of 19 straight ended earlier tonight, but a three-point play to open the half and BYU by three. 29 to 26. Mike Meadows front court right side. Gets free. And passes left to Perry. Sholand on the arc left side. Sholand was the offense for Portland in the first half. His entry pass is knocked away by Hall. And Hall fouled Vasily Bucinic over the back. So Hall coming on help and picks up the foul. It's going to be three on Hall. And that's actually been a good defense. He's coming backside help on the lob pass. And he had his hands on the basketball. Just go a little earlier to Rudy here maybe. 19-25 to play here in Provo. BYU's up 3 29-26. Meadows, NBA three-point range right side. To the base, and now a drive down the lane. Terminates at 10 feet out to Sholin, jabbing from the NBA three-point area. It. <laughs> he area it. And shoots it and oh. short on it. Long rebound, reset, opposite board for Portland. Applewhite drives around George and shoves him away. Applewhite picks up two quick fouls here in half number two, turns it over. Let's watch that turnover number. At halftime, it was 12-4. to four. BYU with 12 giveaways to Portland's four. And Portland has the first turnover of half number two. Here comes Rudy on that third Dallin Hall foul. It'll take him out of the game. Even though the Pilots did not you know, got that offensive rebound, that was kind of a heat check for Sholin. And he missed it pretty badly. So that, that's good. Just get that in his mind. And, and he's uh, not going to make everything. Right. He's not, he's not going to be one of those nights where I'm just going to throw it up and get everything. And also, Noah's a better matchup. He's longer and can guard him on the perimeter. BYU left to right as we see it and you hear it here at half number two. Rudy Williams runs the show out front. Rudy down the lane, kick in the corner. Gideon, big three. Got it! It's another Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer. Gideon George hit the first three of the first half and the first three of the second half. And just like that, BYU leads by six, 32 to 26. We might see a timeout. No timeout. They'll play it. Right wing Naduka. Naduka Perry. Perry cut off by George on the angle right. Sholand for three. Left side. Uh Got it. (laughs) Christian Sholand, after a miss a moment ago, has 20 as he knocks down the three and makes it a three-point game, 32-29. That was got to get there quicker. He got caught caught up on the screen. Sholand's three for six from deep. Foose, mid-alley left, sees a double. Out to Noah for three to answer. That's good! It's Noah's arc. From the three-point line, he knocks it down. And BYU buys six again, 35-29. 18 minutes to play here in Provo. Meadows, left wing, Perry. Trying to step in on it was Robinson. Knocked it into back cortisol. A 10-second shot clock as Meadows is going to restart. Into front court right. Down to five to Naduka. Naduka Sholin with three and with two on the shot clock. It's a fadeaway three. Missed it. And the rebound to Rudy. So Sholin one for three from deep here in the second half. Two and a half gone. Rudy straight away. Terminates and goes right corner. Gideon. Pull. Fire. Score! (laughs) For three! And Shantae Leggins calls timeout as the Cougars have suddenly their large lead of the game. At 38-29. 
Gideon George, two big threes early in half number two. The Cougs are now six for 16 from deep, and the Leggins timeout takes us to a break. Gorgeous George. Gorgeous George. So pretty. 17.25 to play in Provo. Timeout on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the Built Bar courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Gideon George's three-pointer before the timeout will be our Zions Bank shot of the game. It is brought to you by Zions Bank. With the support you need to power forward, Zions Bank is for you. The Cougars opened the game back in the first half, shooting three for 11, two for seven from three. They opened the second half, four for four from the field, three for three from three. The Gideon George threes sandwiching a Noah Waterman triple, and BYU's gone from a halftime tie to a nine-point lead. It's a 12-3 BYU run to open half number two. Yeah, fantastic start to the second half. And Gideon made that first three of the game, and then it was pretty quiet, and he hits a couple to start off the second half here. Yeah, that BYU, can, if they're knocking down their threes, look out for this Cougar team. George now leads BYU with 11 points. Christian Scholens 20, pacing the Pilots. Oh, oh, oh. And he doesn't finish at the rim, but gets his own miss and then hammers home the Jeez. putback. They tried the alley-oop to Scholens. It rolled off his fingertips. He gets his own follow and has 22. That's one off a career high. A set play to him out of the timeout. Great play. And they got to miss somehow, but he's right there to put it back. Gideon Stripe extended left. He gets right to the rim. Finger off for the score. Gideon George now 13 and a very strong start to the second half for Gideon. BYU by nine again, 40 to 31. That ties the game high lead. 16.45 to play here in Provo. Mike Meadows, three-point range right. He'll drive it to 10 feet. Put his back to the basket. Look for help. Have it knocked away, but to Sholand. BYU wanted a three-second call. Didn't get it. Sholand, Meadows. Meadows drops it downstairs to Vucinic. Posting up on Foos. Foos forces a knock away. Down to a three-second shot clock. Vucinic for three. It's wide right. It's off the iron. And it's out of bounds off of whom? Off the rim. No one touched it. So it'll be BYU basketball. 16-24 to play. And the Cougars can now mark play for their first double-digit lead of the night on this possession. I like that D from Waterman on Sholand. He just got in his side his jersey. Didn't even look at what was going on the rest of the play. He didn't help. He didn't leave him. He was he just in his face. That's how you have to play a guy like that when he's hot. Almost four minutes into the second half, and no second half turnovers for BYU. That plagued the Cougars in the first 20 minutes. 12 giveaways in the first half. The high-low to Foose. Collects it from Robinson. Goes up and is hit with three pilots around him. It'll be two free throws for Fuseni Traore, who's made his living at the line. Six free throw attempts. He's made five of the six. Foul is number three against Portland to BYU's one. This one will go against Chica Naduka. Naduka's got three. Applewhite also three. Oh, Applewhite four, beg your pardon. That shows a lot of confidence in Foose that you can just throw it up there amidst three defenders knowing he's going to go up and get it and makes a free throw. Look at that. Now 24 of his last 25. That's 96% from the stripe over the last five games or so. Wow. Foo second of two. Gets them both. Seven for eight at the line tonight. And 25 of his last 26. 42-31 BYU by double digits first time tonight. It's an 11-point BYU lead. 16.05 to play here at the Marriott Center. Seeking to do trap up top. 1-3-1 one, one zone trap. Meadows with Rudy on him, right side, whips a pass to the mid-range right. And Sholand with now a new career high on the two-pointer. 24 points, previous high was 23. It's a nine-point lead, 42-33. to Foose passes out of a single team to Noah. Noah drives and hands back left corner. Gideon, another one. Missed the three this time. Offensive rebound, Foose. Foose bounces once and knocks his man over before he goes back up with it. Timeout on the floor on turnover number 13 for BYU. 42-33, Cougs lead by nine. Timeout with 15-33 to play. Portland basketball next on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU basketball is brought to you in part by All Pro Capital. Put your money to work with smart real estate investments. Visit allprocapital.com for more information. All Pro Capital, a proud sponsor of BYU Athletics. Christian Scholen came in too tonight, averaging four and a half points per game over his last two games. Tonight, minus their two leading scorers, 
Pilots turn the shoulder and he turns in a career high 24 points. He and the Pilots, though, still trail BYU by nine right now. 42 33 is our score with 15 33 to play here in Provo. He's channeling his inner Bobby Sharp for Portland. He just cannot miss. And so. It's not even just about one guy anymore. No one else is hurting you. All five guys need to know exactly where Christian Schoeland is on defense and help and help and then help some more. He's the only Portland starter with multiple field goals. Offensive oh. foul on Christian Schoeland. As he posted up low, I think it was on Waterman, they call him for the foul. So Schoeland picks up Portland's fifth second-half team foul. Or fourth, beg your pardon. Four fouls. for Portland, two for BYU. Away from the ball tonight on both teams. Portland starters have ten field goals. Schulen has nine of them. <laughs> they have one field goal off the bench. Three-pointer right corner. Noah airmails it, but it's tracked down by Foose. Double teamed in the right corner. Passes out of it to Jackson Robinson near the timeline. Good save there by Foose. Down to an eight-second shot low. Rudy Williams time, late Rudy, in the clock. Top of the key, down to four, down to three. Rudy drive, handoff, and then up with it right before the shot clock expires in a foul. And was that Foose getting hit? It was. Yes. It'll be Foose going back to the line. Joey St. Pierre picks it up. So Joey St. Pierre has the Pilots' fifth team foul of the second half. And Foose will set a new career high, or at least can, can tie his career high in free throws made. He's seven for eight. His previous high is eight against Utah State last year. And there it is. So Foose now with eight free throws. Ties his previous career high free throw make here, and he has a new high set. He's eight for nine on the night. Twelve points for Foose. Gideon George leading BYU with 13. Foose can tie that lead with a free throw here. Ten-point game, BYU 43, Portland 33. Foose heavy on the second. So one for two on the trip, eight for ten on the night. 43-33. That was flat and long. Jack Perry out front. Right wing Mike Meadows. Return to Perry between the circles. Left wing Gorosito. Sholin left corner. Jumps it from there and strong on the baseline jumper. Rebound to BYU. Rudy Williams down floor. Spencer Johnson. Johnson left corner Gideon. Gideon loses his man Meadows. Takes a baseline drive oh. between the legs of Sholin to Waterman. Drive to the rim oh. and a block shot. A shot miss at the rim by Waterman. And the pilots come the other way. After a nutmeg on the uh, offensive end, Sholin will drive Waterman away and send a high pass to Meadows' right corner. Meadows into an 18-footer, no. Passes out that to Gorosito for three. Knocks it down. Once a Gorosito with his first three-point field goal make, and it's a seven-point game, 43-36. Pilots just hanging around, hitting big shots when they need them. Only the third field goal tonight from a player not named Christian Sholin. Rudy Williams. Right wing. Cougs led by as many as 11. Leads down to 7. Driving is George. George pivots in the post and turns it over. Oh, then fouls as it went into the hands of Meadows. And then George fouled Meadows. And it's a Portland possession in a 7-point game. Mark BYU got it to 11 but could not push the lead. 13-40 to play. 43-36. BYU 14 turnovers. Two in the second half. Foose out. George out, Atiki in, Saunders in. Still playing with some Portland fire here. Waterman checks out, Robinson in. So it's Williams, Johnson, Saunders, Robinson, Atiki. Spencer on Sholand. See if they can shut him down. 24, career high for Sholand. Left wing go to Cito. Big three moments ago. Has Saunders on him. Gets past Saunders. Gets into the painted area. And what do we have? Foul on BYU. Team foul number four. It's Saunders picking it up. Trying to stay with Godosito. Juan Sebastian. Juan Se. Godosito. From Sede Santa Fe, Argentina. Has scored seven or fewer. In four of his last five coming in two tonight. Has three on this night. A big three a moment ago. Perry in to Meadows. Meadows up top. Left Godosito. Hands off Meadows who comes to meet left wing. 15 second shot clock, 13 15 game clock. Meadows on the arc left side. Meadows to 10 feet, fade away, short on it, rebound. Lay there, fight on the floor for it. Sholand yanks it away. Spencer ties him up, and it'll be Portland on the arrow. Alternate possession goes to the Pilots. They keep the ball again after a miss. 13 02 to play, and 43 36, the BYU lead of seven. 
BYU Basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen have been helping Utah families for over 30 years. Learn more at SiegfriedandJensen.com. BYU dominating the boards, but you're right. It feels like Portland gets multiple opportunities. Send in on the arc right to Joey St. Pierre. Left side to Mike Meadows. Meadows right wing go to Cito. Ball fakes the three, now takes it and misses it long. It's an air ball, but tapped in by Scholand, who was out of bounds. Or the ball hit out of bounds. Either way, it'll be BYU basketball. Gorosito just hit a tough shot. Yep. That was wide open, and he missed everything. So 12.52 to play. The clock moving really slowly right now for some reason. 43-36. BYU leads seven. Saunders up top. Left wing Robinson. Atiki, Atiki, Ali Atiki. Top of the key. Stripe extended right to Spencer. Johnson whips a pass to Rudy Williams out front. Down to a 12-second shot clock. Rudy, skip pass right corner. Richie drives it, reverses it, and scores it on the lay-in. Richie Saunders saw an opening and drove the baseline hard. Reverse for two. BYU by nine, 45-36. And Richie has his fourth point of the night. Joey St. Pierre held in the post. And now everything's being whistled. And it'll be on... Tiki Ali Atiki. It'll be three for Triple A. 12 18 to play. BYU by nine, 45 36. Team fouls are even five apiece here in half number two. Richie just so clever with the basketball. Really good at that reverse shot using the rim to shield the defender. Alden Applewhite into Juan Sebastian Gorosito, who shoves away Williams, drives low on him, spins to the middle on him, reverse lay him good there for Gorosito. He's got five. And the lead down to seven again. 45-38. Gorosito scoreless in the first half. Five after halftime. He averages seven a game. Driving to the rim. Blocked as Rudy Williams. And here come the Pilots the other way. Under 12 to play. Sholand is long. And he could jump. Sholand. Right wing. One hand pass in the corner to Meadows. BYU's lead. A tenuous seven. Foul on BYU. Timeout on the floor. It'll be Portland out of bounds after this. 11.49 to go. BYU's lead got to 11. It's down to 7 again. BYU 45, Portland 38. Pilots basketball next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. Well, the only games going on in college sports right now, it's college football. College football playoff between Ohio State and Georgia. The Buckeyes with a 35-24 lead over the Bulldogs in the third quarter. Ten and a half minutes to go. Back over to the Marriott Center and Greg Rubel. Thank you, Jason. BYU out shooting Portland 41-35%, to out rebounding Portland 28-19. to This year, when BYU outshoots the opponent, 9-1 and one is the record. Out rebounding, 9-3 and three is the record. Portland, conversely, they've not won a game when being outshot, and they've won just one time when being out rebounded. Those numbers trending in BYU's favor. Also in the Cougars' favor, 7-point lead. We are back in. And Sholin holding oh, Spencer scores. Johnson in backcourt off an inbounds. They waited so long. Because, I mean, he was literally grabbing Spencer Johnson. So, just reset this here. It was an, it was an inbound under the basket wow. for, for Portland. They, they threw it into backcourt. And it was so far that Spencer was out ahead of the pack, and Sholin held him. The call finally came. It's team foul number six. Fouls are even six apiece, and it'll be BYU basketball. Might even be some kind. I don't know if it's a clear foul type thing, but Spencer would have had an easy layup, but for being held around the waist. The whistle, and now the officials come to the monitor to review again this last sequence of events. Great job by Spencer, though. You could see he was in his man. When he saw that pass was going to be made, he just broke for it because he knew he had an advantage, able to, would have had an easy layup, but, but for the foul. So the BYU Cougars, which have led for 22-plus minutes to Portland's 3-plus, are trying to keep a 7-point lead in the second half. And so Portland had inbound beneath their own basket. They decided to go deep on the inbound. And Spencer Johnson was actually racing to it ahead of the intended target, Sholand, who held Spencer at half court. Mark Pope was gesturing wildly for a foul. It finally call, came on the whistle, making it 16 fouls apiece. So we should see BYU basketball. Now the officials are conversing to finalize what they have determined. BYU basketball, by the way, is brought to you by Big O Tires. Go to BigOtires.com and make an appointment at one of 50 locally owned and operated Utah locations. Big O Tires the team you trust. This has been a game of fits and starts. And now the officials conversing with head coach Mark Pope. 
to pronounce a final adjudication. This comes in a 45-38 ball game. BYU in front and 11.49 to go. It will be BYU basketball. I think it's a common yeah, foul mark. Co common foul. And it's on Sholand. Both of his fouls have come, or rather two of his three have come here in the second half. So Sholand did three. That's, that's something to note here. Jackson good trigger right in front of us. He's had a tough night. Let's see if Jackson or Rudy can make something happen. They've been so good lately, but 0 for 5 in this game combined. Jackson Robinson right in front of us into Rudy Williams. Williams guarded by Gorosito. Gorosito goes under the, the Richie Saunders screen as Rudy takes it right and now passes to Johnson. Johnson back to Rudy left wing. Rudy drops a post feed to Foose mid-alley left. Has some space to make up. Gets into the paint. Leans in on a step through. Knocked out of his hands. They say he turned it over. He definitely got tripped up, but no whistle. He, wow. had, he had the right-hand jump hook if he wanted it. He didn't take it. He's just waiting too long, and he's just got to be decisive. One strong, quick move and take it. So the Cougs could not take advantage of that near-breakaway foul by Portland. Turnover 15 on the night for BYU, three after halftime. Meadows front court left side. BYU's got a string together stops now. Gorosito runs it left. Gorosito with the taller Robinson on him. Robinson staying with Gorosito. The hook pass goes low to St. Pierre. Bobbled it. Gets it back. Sends it low to Sholin. Sholin dribbles it out to the corner with a 10-second shot clock. Sholin. A handoff in the corner to Applewhite. Applewhite left wing on a 5-second shot clock to Gorosito. Gorosito. Offensive foul. On Joey St. Pierre setting a screen for Gorosito. And on Joey St. Pierre number 2 on Portland number 7. Team control, no free throws, but BYU will shoot the rest of the way. They're in the single bonus. BYU basketball on turnover number seven by the Pilots. But BYU, hey, hey, only four points off of seven Portland turnovers. The Pilots, 17 points off of 15 BYU giveaways. Here we go, front court, 10.58 to play. BYU by seven, still 45-38. Gideon George stepping back to the top of the arc. A high bounce, pounds it on Sholand. A one-foot runner, good! Gideon George! With 15 to pace the Cougs. And it's a nine-point lead, 47-38. to 38. A little one-foot jumper by Gideon and drops it. If he could hit that consistently and have that touch, he would be unstoppable. And now it's a holding foul on Rudy Williams and one and one for the Pilots. Speedway gets to a nine-point lead. The play is stopped. It's a holding foul and one and one for Portland. Time for the Rock to earn their money here on these front ends. Both teams shoot the rest of the way with still a lot of time left to play. 10-36. We're going to see a lot of free throws down the stretch. And go to Sito, who's not missed a free throw this year. So it's time, yes, really for the Rock to go to work because go to Sito is 6 for 6 on the year at the free throw line. Can he miss at least one here? Needs one to earn a second. Go to Sito. One and one in a nine-point game. Makes. He's 7-for-7 seven seven on the year. Six points on the night. One off his per-game average. Juan Sebastian, a.k.a. Juanse, Gorosito. 6-1-150, one, one, one they say, the freshman. Second free throw. And he's perfect on the year, still. 8-for-8. Eight eight. He goes 2-for-2. Two two, lead down to 7 again, 47-40. to 40. The lead for BYU is vacillated between 11 and 7. Over the last five minutes. Williams. Left wing to Gideon. Open for three. Pull. Fire. Score! Gideon George is 4-3. 18 for George. The Cougs have another Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer. And the Cougs have a 10-point lead. 50-40. to 40. Gid has been good. Into a three. Meadows answers. Mike Meadows. His first field goal make of the night is a three to make it a seven-point game again. 50-43, to 9.55 to go. Yeah, the plucky pilots just hanging around, hitting the big shots when they need them. Rudy, straight away. High bounce by Williams. His pass is deflected, taken away, stolen. Another turnover. Turnover number 16 for BYU. Sholand in the left corner. Bobbles it. Bounces into Spencer Johnson. Cycle Vucinic to Gorosito. Three. No, it's off the iron. And a tap rebound by George Tafus. Big miss. Big miss for the Pilots. And the Cougars into front court. Cougs up seven. 50 to 43. Fuse top of the key. Left side Gideon. Gideon calling for it. Waving the ball over. Gideon drives it. Gets right to the rim. Lamp score. Gideon George. A 20-point game. 
and the Cougs lead by 9, 52 to 43. Gideon hungry for the ball right now. Running around out of room on my score sheet for his field goal. It's just dominating this second half. A post up by Bucinich. Jump hook at the rim is good, and Portland answers again. That's Bucinich's first field goal of the night. Other guys stepping up. BYU taking away Sholin, but other guys now stepping up for Portland. 8.55 to go. Back to a seven-point game again. Gideon again. This one's heavy on the three. Gorosito the rebound. Juan Sebastian Gorosito runs it down the right side of the lane. Gets right to the rim. Squeezes it up and misses it, but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws. Gideon got him, I think. Nope. Uh, Spencer Johnson, the foul. Either way, team foul number eight for BYU to seven for Portland. It's a two-shot foul for Juan Sebastian Gorosito, who's two for two tonight and eight for eight on the year, and every big shot BYU makes, Portland has been answering. 52 to 45, BYU by no means out of the woods against this team from the great Northwest. Gorosito really crafty. you got two big guys around him, but he's able to draw the foul. First miss of the year by Gorosito. There it is. He was 8-for-8 eight eight at the stripe and shooting into the rock end. A free throw missing. It was short. We know what Mark says about free throw shooters that go short on the first. 8.46 remaining. BYU by 7, 52-45. Second for Gorosito. Long. 0-for-2. <laughs> <laughs> <0 for> 52-45 <laughs> BYU by 7. Allen Hall in the game. Slip screen, low to Foose. Touch pass, corner. Noah, three. No, he missed it. And the rebound, Joey St. Pierre. Oh, that would have given BYU a 10-point lead. That's two air mails from Noah, but great pass from Foose. Meadows left corner, Perry. A deflection out of bounds. 8.22 to play. It'll stay Portland basketball. That's always a tough decision because Foose probably could have scored that, but he yep. kicks it to an open shooter. I think that's the right decision, and Noah's a good shooter. Just air mailed it. Go to Sito. Straight away. Now to the right wing, 35 feet away. 8.15 to play in the game. 15 second shot clock. Mike Meadows. His only Ooh, field Spencer. goal make of the night is a three. He misses on a it's a turnover. And Foose leads to Spencer Johnson the other way. And Spencer lays it up and in with contact. No call. Nine point lead though. 54 to 45. What did Foose do to start that? Well, Spencer knocked it away from his man right to Foose and then released. So great play by both those guys. We'll call that our metal mark steal of the game. Meadows into a three and misses it right wing. Rebound to Gideon's got a man behind him. Look out. <laughs> Everyone yelling the same thing. Gideon spotted Naduka. Dallin Hall into a transition three. No! Foose, great offensive rebound. And he's thrown to the floor. No call. And here come the pilots the other way. BYU by nine. 54 to 45. Gorosito out of control in the right corner. Regains the handle and pulls it out to the arc right side. 7.25 to go. The under eight minute media timeout is coming up. That Hall three might have been a dagger, but does not go. Foose had it, but fell on his back. 12-second shot clock now. Perry down to a 10-second clock. Go to Cito. Three-point range right. He drives Hall to the elbow. And an offensive foul. It'll be team foul number eight. Turnover number nine for Portland. Timeout on the floor. BYU basketball after this. Moments ago, it was our Metal Mart steal of the game. Brought to you by Palmer's Metal Mart. Palmer's Metal Mart, your local metal supplier for over 26 years. Johnson got a hand in to Foose. Foose knocked it over. Foose took it away. Back ahead to Spencer for a breakaway lay-in, making it a nine-point game. That is our score at the timeout. It is BYU 54 and Portland 45 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. you back to the Built Bar courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Hey, Cougar fans, get more savings and more benefits with Boost by Smith's Rewards Membership. You'll enjoy free delivery and double fuel points for every dollar you spend on groceries and lots more. Membership starts at just $59, so sign up today at smithsfoodanddrug.com slash boost. BYU 54 and Portland 45. A chance for BYU here to go up double digits again in the closing moments of the game. 7-12 to play. BYU on the floor with Dallin Hall, Spencer Johnson, Gideon George, Noah Waterman, Atiki Ali Atiki. Hall starts it to Noah out front. Stripe extended left side, Gideon George. Gets a screen set by Atiki Ali Atiki. He rolls low as Gideon stays high. Now low to Atiki Atiki. Jump oh, good! Yes. Atiki Ali Atiki with his first field goal make of the night. And it's a big one. It gives BYU a game high 11-point lead, 56-45. to The simple. Kept it high, turned, jump hook, score. Perry, right wing. Right corner, Gorosito. Juanse Gorosito. Out to the Marriott Center logo. Hooks it to Sholin in the right corner. Spencer closes out on him, knocks it away. 
Go to, uh, Schollen gets it back, drives base, cut off well. Now posting up on Spencer Johnson, and the foul is called on the floor. It'll be on Spencer before any shot goes up. One and one on team foul nine. So Portland will be double bonus rest of the way. This is the last one and one they would have. BYU comes into tonight six consecutive wins. A win tonight, and the Cougs would have their second longest win streak of the Mark Pope era. Six is already tied for second longest. It would be a new solo second if they can win it tonight. Sholin for one and one and makes the front end. Sholin had been quiet for a while and hanging on 24 for a bit. That's 25. The career high is extended for Christian Sholin, the Norwegian. Second of two. He's got 25 on the night. George, 20 for BYU. Two for two for Sholin. He's five for six at the line tonight and a 26-point night. Career high extended. Down to nine. 56-47. BYU leads 6.25 to go. Dallin Hall, left wing, top of the arc, right side Johnson. Touch pass, Waterman, right corner. Noah back to Spencer on the right wing. Now Dallin up top. Dallin picks it up, gives it up to Noah up high. Down to a 10-second shot clock. The lob pass gets into a tiki. A turnaround <laughs> jumper. We haven't seen a lot of that from a tiki, but he knocks it down. Back-to-back field goal wow. makes for a tiki. 58-47. to He turns to face and squares up for the J. That was awesome. And a shot I didn't think a tiki had, but man, he just nailed it. Sholin straight away. Guarded by Johnson. Spencer's the preferred default. Oh, they're calling Spencer. He goes over the screen and is called for the hip check. He had nowhere to go, Mark. Yeah, that's four on Spencer. He's picked up two here guarding Sholin. 11-point lead for BYU, 58-47. to And as Vucinic put the hip into Spencer Johnson, he hip checks Spencer into he Sholin. Definitely, definitely. They should have been the call on Vucinic. Yeah. Coaches are upset for BYU. He definitely stepped into Spencer, was not set. That was a hip check screen by Vucinic. It bounced Spencer into Sholand, who now goes to the line for two, and the pilots shoot two the rest of the way. Make. He's six of seven, 27 on the night. Previous high was 23. They'll have to get Spencer off of him, who's actually done a decent job. But he picked up those two fouls, last two possessions. Second by Sholin in a 10-point game. 58-48, to 58-49. Sholin, four for four from the line here in the second half. Seven for eight on the night, lead down to nine. 58-49. Portland doing a great job answering every BYU make right now. BYU in front court, Waterman. Oh. Lobs it up for Atiki Ali Atiki. It's the Atiki Alley-oop. 60-49, BYU by 11. Three consecutive makes for Atiki. Great pass from Noah. Tiki had one of those against Pacific. He scores on a jump hook, a square up jumper, <laughs> right. and, an, and an alley oop throwdown. Right. Sholin, spade away, three left side. Short on it. Rebound, Jackson Robinson. And the Cougs now 11. The lead. And 5 11 on the clock and the ball. I want more of Tiki. Can he make it four shots in a row? Jackson Robinson, right side. Top side to Dallin Hall. BYU's never led by more than 11 tonight. Dallin, right wing, George, right corner, Jackson, Robinson, three! Jackson Robinson gives the Cougs a game-high 14-point lead. And timeout is called. We'll stay right here with it. 4.53 to go. And that might be the shot. Jackson Robinson with his first field goal make of the night. It's a massive three. After three straight makes from Atiki Ali Atiki, and the Cougs are up 14 for the first time, 63 to 49. It's another Mountain America Credit Union three pointer, and Jackson Robinson, who else, is the one to knock it down. Jackson Robinson has been a revelation from the arc this year. Not a high number percentage wise, but they come in bunches for him, and they come in really big moments. Yeah, it's hard to keep a good shooter down. He was 0 for 3 from 3 until that shot knocks that one down, and this is smooth, beautiful stroke. And a, a really timely shot. Maybe this will be the point where BYU can just kind of pull away and put this baby to bed. Portland uh, has been answering up to this point, but it's hard to c- c- combat that, those kind of shots. BYU basketball brought to you by Sierra West. Diamonds direct, lowest prices, and three stores located across from the malls in Orem, Sandy, and Murray. Sierra West Jewelers, we price match. BYU 63, Portland 49 is our score. Jackson. Over BYU Cougar, Wyatt Lowell re-enters the game for the Pilots. Jackson draws the Sholin guard. So they just kind of put Sholin in the corner until, he, <laughs> until they need him. Run a four-on-four. Four. 4.45 to play. Portland basketball. The Pilots go right to left as we see it and you hear it. Sholin 
has his post feed picked off by Atiki Ali. Atiki he was working on Wyatt Lowell down low, and they're going to call a foul away from the say, play. Jackson Robinson picks it up. I say Jackson caught Sholand on the pass, but man, that, that's a serious tick tack foul as Atiki had the turnover. He had stepped in and stole yeah. that pass. Two more free throws for the Pilots. Hotel Park City was named as one of America's top 25 hotels in TripAdvisor's 2022 Traveler's Choice Awards. You've got one of the best of the best in your own backyard. So book your Hotel Park City stay today. Two free throws and a miss. Solon was talking to someone at the free throw line and took his... It's almost distracted by his, his talking and missed that free throw. So Solon now 7 for 9 at the line. Portland is a team 13 for 19. BYU 11 of 14. Second for Sholin. One for two on the trip. 29 points for Christian Sholin. And it's a 13-point game. 63-50. BYU on top. We have 4.35 to play. Dallin Hall runs the show for BYU left side. Season opening. We'll drive and kick out to Jackson Robinson. Fakes a three. He'll take the key. Pass high and turn it over. Sholin on the breakaway. Sholin to the rim. Oh, Hammer no, back. Uh, just not smart. Did he get fouled on it? On the dunk, he gets fouled from behind. And it'll be a three-point play chance for Sholand, who now has 31 and was, a chance for 32. Absolutely no way possible that Noah could get that. Sholand, a great jumper, had plenty of room. Just let him get, have his poster and then get back on offense. And now it's an 11-point game again, 63-52 as he reared back and hammered it home. I mean, this guy and took a foul. Super long and athletic and can jump. And makes the free throw. That's 9 of 11 there. Plus his 23 on field goals. 32. His previous career high was 23. And he was averaging 4.5 a, a game over his last two coming in two tonight. Dallin Hall. And spots an opening his way to the rim up and in and a foul a chance for a three-point play the other way that's a good answer greg because now portland thinking hey we we might have a chance here and now a chance for dallin to put three more back on the board little hesitation dribble split defenders got himself to the 10 and knocks it down with a scoop at the rim took the foul chance for a three-point play dallin with five on the night this for six byu by 12 65 53 free throw nope Rebound, Sholand. Sholand has six rebounds to go with his 32 points. 4.06 to go. BYU by 12, 65-53. Perry, outside the arc left. Still on the perimeter. Left corner pass to Alden Applewhite. Wipes away the hand of Noah Waterman. Down to a five-second shot clock. Three for Perry. Missed it. Rebound and a foul on the floor. Loose ball foul for BYU. Two more free throws for BYU for Portland on the three-point miss. They're going to call a box-out foul on, on Hall. And you hear the coaches trying to yell on three. Wyatt Lowell was in the paint for that entire possession, basically. And uh, no whistle. So they don't blow the whistle on the three. And they do blow the whistle on the loose ball foul. Timeout on the floor. 3.45 to go. BYU hanging on to a 12-point lead, 65-53 over Portland on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Back to Mark Durant and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, for more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Cougar fans, you can line up every candy bar you can think of and come see why everyone's saying I'd rather have a built bar. Call it a candy bar. Call it a protein bar. Either way, healthy is tasty. Finally, BYU led with five minutes to play. BYU leads with 3.45 to play. In the Mark Pope era, BYU 72-6, and six, including a 9-1 mark this season when leading with five minutes remaining in regulation, as BYU does now. But as we come back in, the Cougs lead by 12. And Wyatt Lowell, the former BYU Cougar, shoots two. Wyatt Lowell, married to former BYU women's soccer standout Alyssa Jefferson. They now live in Portland, where Wyatt's taken his hooping talents. UVU to BYU to Snow and now to Portland. Wyatt shooting two and missing the first. Wyatt Lowell under 50% from the free throw line this season and misses the first of two. He's scoreless on the night. I like I like Wyatt. I like his game, but he should be at the line. He was in the key for seven seconds. They counted. He missed both free throws, so I guess a little bit of a ball don't lie situation there. Rebound to Gideon George. BYU in front court. Allen Hall starts at left. Now to the top. 
Hesitation dribble to the lane. Gets himself into a post-up position on Jack Perry. Little turnaround jumper by Dallin Hall. And he's fouled. He'll get two free throws out of it. Nice work by Dallin. Going to work down low. Yeah, I like him posting up because he's a big, strong point guard. And he's going to have an advantage on most point guards he plays. And also got good post moves for a guard. Now he's got to make his free throws. This has been a little Achilles heel for him this year, the free throw line. BYU 65, Portland 53. A 3.27 to go, and Dallin misses again. He's 0 for 2. And dipping under 60% on his free throw tries this year. BYU had been, uh, at halftime, well ahead in the free throw as attempted. It's altered dramatically here. It's 23 now for Portland. This will be 17 for BYU, and he gets that one, so 1 for 3. So BYU's lead is one shy of the game high. Lead was... 14 at one point, 13 now, 66 53, 321 to play. Applewhite, right side, Sholin. Sholin on a 32 point night. Takes a baseline drive and picks up his fourth foul. It's an offensive foul. It's turnover number 10 for Portland and BYU basketball. Spencer finally got his revenge there. He's picked up a couple fouls, but that time Sholin shoves off. They're going to let it ride with Sholin. He's. Scored almost half of Portland's points tonight. 32 of their 66. He's been fun to watch. I mean, his size and his ability to score inside, outside. Uh, he's a really impressive player. Surprised he hasn't done in backcourt more this year. Williams down floor, Gideon. Gideon beats it. Gets it to a Tiki down low, and a Tiki draw the foul before he goes up with it. A tiki's been great. That's going to be on Sholin. And that's, that's it. it. That's it for him. So Christian Sholin is fouled out of the game. Great pump fake there from a Tiki. He's just. Making really smart decisions in this half. So they kept showing him with four, and he got his fifth only seconds later, and his night is done on a 32-point, six-rebound performance. 32 points, new career high by far. And Sholin's night is done. BYU leads by 13. Chance for a new game-high lead as Atiki goes to the line. Atiki shooting 63% from the free-throw line this year. It's one of the great weapons of a big man is that little pump fake. You watch that, that replay, and Atiki will just go up, and it's about six inches of movement where he puts that ball up, and that triggers Sholin's jumping instinct, and uh, then you know it's an easy a foul to be drawn from Atiki. So Triple A with 3.07 to play. Goes to the line on a 13-point game. He makes them both here, and BYU has a new game-high lead. Cougs made their last five from the field, by the way, as Atiki makes the free throw. BYU by 14 for the second time tonight, 67-53. to Cougs now shooting an even 50% on the night after a pretty chilly start to this game. And Atiki goes two for two. Atiki. Nicely done. BYU by 15 now, 68-53. All of Atiki's eight points coming after halftime. He's getting a lot of good minutes, too. He feels comfortable out there now in this game. Pucinic. To the left wing, a handoff there to Juan Segorosito. Gorosito gets into the painted area, takes it to the right block. Turn around, fade away, in and around and down for Gorosito. That's nine for Juan Segorosito. Yeah, he's crafty, man. He might travel a little bit there, but he's a... Yeah, you can tell he's a guy that has played with big brothers all his life because he somehow gets a shot off amongst the big guys. Gorosito had scored seven or fewer in four of his last five, but he has nine tonight. A miss lay in after a steal off the inbound, getting it back as Applewhite, and that's in and out. The Cougs get lucky twice after giving it away on the press. Rudy down floor. Gideon George will fake it and drive it. Stop base left, guarded by Meadows. Restarts toward the painted area. Gives Dallin Hall right corner. Dallin's baseline drive is ended by Godosito. Now to Rudy at the center circle. 15-second shot clock. BYU can go late in the clock here. It's a 13-point lead with 2.08 to play. 68-55. Hall right side. Hall between the rings. Now Rudy far sideline. 35 feet away. Two on the clock. Five on the shot. Drive. Kick. Gideon. Three. No. In and out. Atiki lost the rebound. And Godosito, his numerical opposite, comes away. Godosito. Front court right. Spin on Rudy. Pass high to Perry. Left wing Meadows. Meadows, Gorosito left side, up high to Perry a lot of time going away in a 13 point game here, down to a 15 second shot clock Portland's got to go, pull up jumper good by Applewhite in the right corner his second field goal, long two he's got four, 68-57, BYU by 11, Cougs break press into front court, left side Gideon, and again the Cougs can take this to about a minute to go 
120 on the game clock and 20 on the shot. Portland wanted to really win this. They'd have to foul I think, on this possession, but they're going to play it out. I think that's going to be tough for them to win if they if they go full possession here. Rudy right side, left wing, Gideon pull and fire and misses from three. Rebound Alden Applewhite. Keeps it in to Gordosito. One minute to play and BYU by 11, 68 to 57. Applewhite. Gets Gideon to fly by, drives it low, gets fouled. He'll get two free throws. He'll go to the strike. Well, BYU's going to see Gideon George leave the game on, or Atiki, Atiki, beg your pardon, leave. Atiki, Ali, Atiki, leave the game on five fouls. So 55 seconds to go. And two free throws here for the Pilots. BYU leading it. By 11, 68-57. I'd love to see Gideon get one of these threes to go just to finish off this great second half he's had. He's been he's been the guy in this second half. 15 points. And a, tiki, uh, a well-deserved applause from the crowd. A great game from him. An unusual night without rebounds, but eight big points in the second half. So two for Alden Applewhite. He's got four points on the night. BYU will not see Portland anymore unless they play them in Las Vegas. No trip to the Child Center on the schedule. Free throw missed by Applewhite. And Sholin's already shown that once they get Wood and Robertson back, they've got a big three. Man, I tell you what, I don't know where Sholin's been all season. I mean, he's averaging, what, double figures, but, man, he's terrific. 0 for 2, offensive rebound Meadows. And then can't keep it in on the sideline. It'll be BYU basketball. So this game is essentially over. 68-57. BYU's going to hold another opponent to not only fewer than 70, but maybe even fewer than 60. That will be seven consecutive games holding an opponent under 70 points and maybe even under 60. They're at 57 now are the Pilots. 68-57, BYU leading it. Hall and Robinson break press into front court. 45 second game clock, 22 second shot clock. BYU can go late in the clock and Portland is not fouling and this game is over. The only question now, the final score and margin. Rudy Williams out near the timeline with a 10 second shot clock. 30 on the game clock. BYU 68 and Portland 57. Rudy, left wing. Step back three for Rudy. Yes! Rudy Williams! Little punctuation mark. 71-57. BYU by 14. 20 seconds to go. Williams will drive. Lean back and miss. Draws a foul. And he'll get two free throws of 17.8. So, after a game high lead of 15, the lead currently 14. 71-57. And it'll be at the line for two. Mike Meadows. So make or miss. As long as BYU gets the ball and Portland does not foul, the Cougs will end the game in possession, allowing no fewer than... Or no more than 60 for another game. As the free throw is good by Meadows. He's 5 for 5 tonight. 8 points on the evening. Moses Wood at 13 points a game. And Tyler Robertson at 15 a game. Did not play tonight for Portland. Cougs cut a break that way. The spin out from Meadows. So 1 for 2 on the trip. BYU has the ball. And the Cougs can bounce it out. And they will. So the final score will be 71 to 58. BYU wins it by 13. Goes to 2-0. and Joining St. Mary's atop the West Coast Conference. Seven wins in a row. Second longest win streak of the Mar Pope era. Three, two, and one. And we are done on the horn. Final score, BYU 71, Portland 58. Postgame recap starts next on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the Built Bar courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Final score, BYU 71 and Portland 58 as BYU takes a 26-26 tie at halftime and turns it into a runaway win. BYU outscored the Pilots by 13 after the break, 45-32. Let's get you to our postgame honorees. We'll start with our Waystar star of the game brought to you by Waystar. Simplifying health care payments. Learn more at waystar.com. With a team high, 20 points, and a team high, 9 rebounds. Gideon George is our Waystar star of the game. He was tremendous, Mark. And uh, Gideon, after a five-point first half, a 15-point second half to help BYU pull away. Yeah, that's the best half of basketball we've seen from Gideon. And he was making the threes, but also getting to the rim. Hit a little fadeaway 10-footer, which was super nice. You know, he's got so many skills. If he could, you know, be able to, to hit the three and then go in the paint, that just puts so much pressure on the defense. He was terrific tonight. 
Now to our new skin data discovery of the game, brought to you by New Skin. New Skin is your innovative beauty and wellness company that helps you look, feel, and live better. Mark, what do you see in the box score for some data that we've discovered tonight? Yeah, just a great second half for BYU. 33% shooting in the first half, 64% shooting in the second half, and that was 46% from three in the second half. When they're knocking down their shots, they're they're tough to beat. Another good job rebounding and, and all those kind of things, but when BYU can knock down the jumpers, it's, it's a tough go for the opponent. In Mark Pope's first year, Mark Durant, uh, BYU won nine in a row. The Cougs have now won seven in a row, which is the longest win streak since that nine straight you almost know, three years ago. The crazy thing is the, t- the, the two games before that were two of the worst losses in a long time. And, I, you know, Utah Valley's good and all, but the, the South Dakota, Utah Valley at home. And then you had Creighton. You're thinking, how many? We could have a four or five game losing streak here, and instead they've turned it around and now have this great seven game win streak. More from the box score coming up later in post game, but we'll tell you Gideon George and Fusene Traore were the Cougars' leading scores in double figures, 20 and 12 respectively. Then you go to nine for Spencer Johnson, eight for Atiki Ali. Atiki all after halftime, by the way. Atiki was big in the second half. Six for Dallin Hall, five for Rudy Williams. Fours for Saunders and Robinson. Three for Waterman, putting you at 71. 32 led the way for Portland from Christian Scholand. 32 of their uh, 58 on the night. I think I said earlier that he had almost half the uh, points for Portland. He ended up with more than half of the points for Portland. 32 of their 58. Uh, nine for Godosito. Eight for Meadows. Four for Applewhite. Two for Vucinic. So only... Uh, Six players score, no one more than Christian Scholand, 32. Final score, 71-58. BYU defeats Portland. Cougs go to 12-5 on the year on seven consecutive wins. And they go to 2-0 in the West Coast Conference. The week, first weekend to play in the WCC will end with two teams at 2-0. And those two teams are BYU and St. Mary's. More from Provo and the Marriott Center coming up, along with BYU Radio and Jason Shepard with Cougar Post Game Live. And that is coming your way next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.